are here at Pix Patisserie today talking about a brand new cookbook. It's called Modern French Pastry, and we have Chef Cheryl Walkerhauser here. She's going to walk us through a really unique, beautiful recipe. Thanks for being with us today, Chef Cheryl. Yes, thanks for coming. Yeah, so what are we making today? So we're making a recipe out of my new book, Modern French Pastry. It's 41 original recipes you've never seen before, and this one is called Chai. I love it. What's in this, and how do we get started? Well, the first thing we need to do is make a genoise, or a simple sponge cake. The recipe for all the components are in the book. So this is our genoise, and we just cut circles out. And this is kind of like a sponge cake? Yep. And what this is going to do is soak up our cream. So. And the recipe for that is in the book. OK, so once it's made, you'll put it into your teacup here. This is a great way to show off vintage teacups if you got them. Then we want to make a cream, and so this is chai. You guys, have had, you've had a chai, right? Mm -hmm. So Indian spice tea. We have some fennel, clove, a little bit of cinnamon, black pepper, fresh ginger, green cardamom, and the most important thing is the black tea. Okay. You want a high quality black tea. You want to smell that? Yeah, I want to see. Ooh, so it smells good. You got to start with quality, or it's not going to get any better. Then we make a creme anglaise, which is detailed in the book, and you'll just pour this in. So now the genoise is going to soak this up like a sponge, so make sure you serve this within, I'd say, five minutes of finish. So would it it'd be pretty warm still when you pour it in? This is cool. Oh, it's cold. Okay. Yeah. Next, we need a little crunch because all of my recipes have lots of texture. So I made this uh, spice cookie, and this is made with a quatre spice, so more spices, but this time is a French blend. So quatre spice, four spices. This one has some white pepper, some ginger, some uh, clove, and a little nutmeg. A lot of spices there. Not pumpkin spice. <laughs> this is different. This is better than pumpkin spice. It looks better. Sure is. All right, now let's have some fun. Okay, this is the fun part. I can't wait. So yes. tell us why you have a record player here and a disco ball. I'm gonna get in my DJ booth. Give you a little music. So neat. And um, we are going to do a parlor trick. I like parlor tricks. Okay, so you have made like a frosting here for us. <gasps> We've got music. Orange creme chanty is going in the bag. And why the record player here? Where did you come up with this inspiration? Uh, it's kind of the rage in France. But if you don't have a record player, don't worry, because you can do other things. <laughs> and if you want more tips, go to the website, modernfrenchpastry.com. So is this a really sweet frosting you're putting on? It's actually not very sweet at all because the cookie's sweet, so we try not to have the cream sweet. Wow, I see. So the record spins it and you just decorate it. <laughs> Looks like it takes a lot of focus. And that's it. You make it look so easy. And then it goes right on top. On top. Wonderful. And then you just eat. Taste the cream. Delicious. How does it taste? It's great. Not too sweet. Mm -mm. And some gold flakes. This is just for added edible gold flakes. You can it makes your eyes twinkle. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and how do we garnish it at the end? If you want, you can add a little bit more orange zest on the orange cream. Okay. And it looks a little complicated to eat, so you just dig right in. You just go in. Yep. Awesome. It's beautiful. Chef Cheryl, thank you. Thank you very much. I tried to eat the whole thing, but the photographer, Steve, was like in a hurry to get somewhere, and he's like, let's go. I'm like stuffing my face. So, <laughs> Yum. Like, it, was, it was delicious.